Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll review new features coming to the Viper. These include Laser Spot Search or LSS, Laser Spot Track LST functionality for the targeting pod or TGP, the control page for the targeting pod, the freeze function for the horizontal situation display or HSD, the addition of new Viper weapons, and changes to AIM-9 functionality. Let's get started. All right, so first, let's take a look at Laser Spot Search, LSS, and Laser Spot Track, LST. And as you might imagine, we'll have an external uh, laser designation source like a JTAC or Reaper designate the target for us under a specified laser code, in this case, 1688. Uh, we'll then have the targeting pod search for that designation source under Laser Spot Search. They'll lock onto it with Laser Spot Track, We'll then convert that to a sensor point of interest that we'll drop a bomb on. And at that point, the uh, seeker of the laser guided bomb will seek the laser code from the JTAC. So we don't have to designate anymore. It'll essentially be a launch and lead at that point. Now we can see that the aircraft is pretty much uh, set up. Lasers on, master arm on, we're in CCRP mode. Let's hold down the K button. And we can see that the bomb is gonna be looking for a laser code is 1688. And if we look at the uh, targeting pod page, in the top left corner, we have LSS, a 1688, and that's what the targeting pod is going to be searching for. If we need to, we can adjust that as well. We go to list, miscellaneous, laser, and LST code, 1688. Let's come back out, and let's uh, reach out to a Moonbeam or JTAC and get the ball rolling. Okay, let's take a beat here. So we can see he's going to be designated under 1688. Up on the, uh, the HUD, we have a new indication, mask TGP. And this means that the line of sight is blocked between the targeting pod and where it's looking by a portion of the aircraft or a store. If it's flashing, it means you can still see it, but it's approaching a mask condition. On the targeting pod screen near the bottom, just to the right of L for laser, we also see an M which also gives a mask indication. Let's continue our comm. Ready to copy remarks. Use GBU-12. 3000, Papa, Alpha, 2247731, Read back correct. Report IP inbound. Now, coming back to the uh, targeting pod, we also have the control page now. So we click on CNTL. We have the option to turn off and on the uh, grayscale to calibrate your video display. Below that is N slash M. And with this, we can toggle off the coordinates, the north arrow, and the yardstick distance. Uh, just a uh, handy way to declutter the display, if you wish coming back out. Now the question is, you know, why would you want to use this function? Uh, mainly because, um, say you can't actually locate the target and you need a little help uh, getting the target pod onto it, or if there's a very specific target that a ground unit wants you to kill, uh, this would uh, allow you a better way to uh, direct your weapon. 
Okay, let's go ahead and uh, bring off the autopilot and get ourselves oriented to the target for the IP. As you come uh, oriented to it, we'll see the mask and TGP start to flash. And there it goes, and now it's gone. Okay, back to the comm. We are inbound. One, one, IP inbound. One, one, continue. Okay, now we've asked him to turn on the laser. Laser on. Okay, now he's designating under 1688, and there's two ways we can start the search of where the targeting pod is looking, either by pressing the cage uncage button on the throttle or the OSB next to LSS. I want to do the cage uncage button. You see it searching back and forth. Now it's locked. Now it's in laser spot track. I spotted one, it. One, spot. And now I'm in. One, one, in from the west. One, one, cleared hot. Okay, now I'm going to convert this LST to my sensor point of interest or my speed by going forward on the target management switch or TEMA switch. And at this point, it's just a standard CCRP bombing attack. So I'm going to line up my FPM with my ASL. Actually, I really don't even need my laser on, because again, once that bomb comes off my jet, it's going to be guiding on the JTAC laser, not mine. Okay, this is our pull-up cue. Nothing to do here. I'm not going to be doing a toss. Okay, holding down the weapon release button. You can see the release cue marching down the ASL. And bombs away. Okay, so let's look at LSS, LST, uh, the mask indications, as well as the control page. Uh, let's move on to the next subject. Next, let's take a look at the new freeze function on the horizontal situation display, or HSD. And this will vary of whether or not the HSD is your sensor of interest or not. So first, let's focus on the HSD. Let's make it our sensor of interest, or SOI, by going aft on the DEMA switch. And we can see that it's SOI now indicated by the box around the periphery. So now we can move the HSD cursor wherever we want. And I'd say over these steer points here, we can hit the freeze function. And I'll go to centered mode at that location and stabilize at that location. Let's come back out. Now what's not our sensor of interest, again, no box. And we hit the freeze function now we'll go into centered at our own ship location and stabilize at that location. And freeze back out. Now either way, when it's in freeze mode, the expand modes will be disabled and steer points one through 99 will be frozen. We've also added several new weapons. Uh, this includes three versions of the AIM-9P. The AIM-9P and the AIM-9P-3 our rear aspect versions of the AIM-9, and then we've also had the AIM-9 P5, which has limited all aspect capability and flare rejection, uh, kind of like an AIM-9L. We've also added new rocket pods, including the Lao-131 and the Lao-68 for hydro rockets. We've also made some changes to the AIM-9 functionality. When you radar lock a target and bring up an AIM-9, the seeker will automatically be slave to it now. Yeah. 
And the last item is, if you have a target locked up in MRM or nav mode, and then you go to dogfight mode, it will no longer relock the target. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little look at the upcoming new features to the Viper, and I will see you next time. Thanks.